Are we recording, Phil? Yeah. God, get ready, folks. Buckle up, because Phil is in a weird mood today. Ooh. How we doing, buddy? Oh, are you not sitting down yet? You want Jesus me to wait, don't you? Jesus fucking Christmas. Give me a minute. Mm, Christmas passed a couple weeks ago, buddy. You really got to step your game up here. How was your New Year's, man? <laughs> It was really good, Phil. Are you going to make noises like that all night? What'd you do? What did I do? Damn, we're just j jumping right in. Okay, you didn't even let me put my toe in the water. You didn't even get me felt. enough water, dude. Bitch, every time we record, I give you a full cup, and then by the time we start recording after the pre-show meeting, you're already done. It's not my fault that you fucking just chug your water. Mute your goddamn laptop. Ah, do not destroy. Good stuff. But yeah, welcome back to Sunday Sauce, everybody. Your grandmother's favorite podcast. It is episode nine, I believe. One episode before Double Digit Territory. That's pretty fucking rad. We made it past the hump. <laughs> we made it. Dude, I can't take you seriously today. Why not? You're just sitting there, you're like, I'm, you're just, I'm I don't scheming. Know. You're scheming something. What do you, you have something planned for today that you didn't tell me about? Nah, dude, what about you? I'm not wearing a hat today. That's pretty fucking rad. If you're, if you're listening on Spotify, thanks for blowing out all of our eardrums. <laughs> if you're listening on Spotify or Apple or Google or whatever the fuck, you don't see the luscious locks. But yeah, dude, it's getting to the point now where I feel like I can stop wearing the hats, just letting it all fall down. It's pretty awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, New Year's Eve, I was actually not going to go out. I was in a pretty crappy mood. Uh, for whatever reason, and I was laying in my bed, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna go to sleep early. I sent Phil a picture of me in my bed, and I was like, yo, I'm going into 2020 with some mental clarity, and I was ready for it, and then all of a sudden, I hear the doorbell ring, and I'm like, what the hell's going on, and down my steps comes our buddy, Chris you guys the, know him, you love him. The unit. The, the unit. So now I have this 250-pound dude just wrestling me <laughs> out of bed saying, yo, come to Peter's, we're hanging out, we're gonna see the ball drop, Roaring Twenties party, all this fun jazz. He takes my phone and literally left with my phone, because he knows me, I, I literally need my phone by me <laughs> at all times. Literally right now, I just see where it is on the bench, and he took it, and I was like, alright, well, I guess I gotta go now. So now I, I, know how to, I know how to piss you off at any moment you now. You just gotta take the phone, dude. 100%. If I take your phone and bring it to my house... You now have to come to my house. That's a great way to get me there. I still haven't seen Phil's new dog. We might see the dog tonight. Possibly not. I want to go out to the nest. Phil doesn't, it seems like. I'm a father, dude. I got plans tonight with my puppy. Gotta rub the puppy's belly, don't exactly. you? Exactly. I was actually telling people at the nest last night that we bring them up as the nest on the podcast. I'm like, yeah, we don't use the exact name of the bar, but we tell our viewers all the time, yo, it's the nest. How do they feel about that? They, they they were pretty flattered. I think it was a, it was a good vibe last night. I wasn't taking it too crazy. Had a Moscow Mule, which I haven't uh, had in a while. But before we talk about my day yesterday, what did you do New Year's Eve? I ended up going to Peter's house, by the way, and it was a great time. So glad Chris got me out of the house. My cousin, Young Jake the Snake, came up from North Carolina. Snakey. He was here last episode. Yes, he on was. Your bed. He was our first live <clears throat> studio guest. It was pretty lit. So me and him went over to my cousin's house. Mm. And uh, we had a nice little family friend get together, drank some drinks, some White Claws, no laws. Good vibes. Some wine. We played Super Smash Bros. Mm. I won the tournament. Mm. Oh, you yep. had a tourney. I a little, see little you. tourney. Demolished you know, everyone. I was really hoping that you were going to come to Show Me Your Moves 2020 in Boston, but I can confirm here, you heard it first, Phil will not be coming to Boston with I me. I will not be. It's understandable, like you said, you do have a son now, so you no, have I'm to be there for your boy. Literally a father. Harley is slowly feeling better, by the way. She still doesn't have her full appetite back, but today she seemed, even you could tell, she seemed a lot more energetic uh, today than the previous days, so that's good. I've just, I've been a nervous wreck with Harley, man, because she has, like, good days, then she seems, like, really, really out of it, then she seems nervous, but then she has good days. She's just been sneezing now. And the doctor just said it's normal. She just sneezes. Got the allergies. She's freaking just sneezing. Give her shit. a Claritin slapper a little bit, a little one two. She'll be good to go. <laughs> okay, first of all, not gonna give my dog human medication, little and I'm not gonna slap my dog either. Oh, she'll go right to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking punch your dog in the neck. How about that? Next time I see him, oh hi puppy. Bam, son. We do not condone animal violence. We are clearly joking. This is what we call banter, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, already we're pulling up Would You Rather? You ready to oh, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we talked about it before in the pre-show meeting. We wanted to do some Would You Rather today. And I was like, yo, what do we want to talk about? And Phil just kept fucking talking like Kermit. Like, I don't know what your deal is. What bro. are you talking about? That did the not The entire happen. time. Are you just going to deny every claim Nothing I make about you, you on this said podcast? In the past you five sentences happened. You were naming every friend I work with. You were going, hey, United Gamer, <laughs> Game Boy Luke, Dobbs. I can't do Kermit, but that was the best that I could do. Just tell me what happened in your life today, because this is this is a different fill than I'm that I'm normal normally accustomed to. Dude, I'm a daddy, like I said. <laughs> 
I have to. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're a daddy now. No, listen. This is what this is what my days look like now. Yeah, yeah break it down. I wake up at six thirty every goddamn morning. <laughs> to my mor- dog in the morning. Yes, yes, yes. yes. A.M. And he can't go downstairs yet. Oh, he, he does he go like to one step and it just kind of stay there? No, he doesn't even go down the first step. Oh, He's what a, petrified. What a little scaredy cat. Yeah. So I pick him up and then I drop him on the grass and he goes tinkle winkle. Stinkle pinkle. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> forgot the last two words yeah. there. I got you. I and then uh, he comes in, feed him breakfast, a little water, and he is wired at that point. So I have to like play with him for like 10 to 15 minutes, get some energy out. And then I'm tired as shit. So I pick him up back to my bed and we take a little snooze for two to three hours. And then I wake up, and then he's still wired, and pretty much I stay at my house with my dog forever. So basically, he wakes up at six, then you're awake till he's ready to go to sleep at the end of the day. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty good vibe, though. I love the fact that he's already kind of like sleeping in your bed because I remember when we first got Harley, we had to keep her in the crate for a while, and then I think after like the first year, she started sleeping with my parents and sleeping with me when they would leave for work. I know I've talked about this before, but literally when everyone leaves for work in the morning, so my mom, dad, brother, they all go to work. I obviously can work whenever because we can make our own schedule. High five. Thank you guys for the support, by the way. You're awesome. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Except and then, January revenue is uh, looking a little... We could, we could actually talk about that. Okay. It's a good topic if you guys want some behind the scenes on how awful January revenue is on YouTube. It's crazy. But yeah, Harley runs down the stairs, trots down because she can go downstairs because she's superior. All right, listen. My dog's going to be four times the size of yours. Doesn't matter. It ain't about the size of the dog. <laughs> it's the bark of the bite. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh. you something right now. No, they're going to be best friends, though. I know. And yeah, she comes and cuddles with me. My dog's going to keep your dog safe. Yes. And my dog will be there for your dog if your dog needs to vent about any issues. Needs emotional support. Yeah, yeah. emotional support hound for your emotional support hound. Exactly. There we go. Absolutely. We were going to talk about the ad revenue. So for whatever reason, if you guys didn't know, um, actually there is a reasoning or there is a reason. I don't really know it. Yeah, so basically in December, what happens is a lot of advertisement companies, or any company really, just promoting so much advertisement that the ad rates go up. Because obviously during the holidays, people are buying presents, people are treating themselves. The problem with that is though, once this like influx of crazy good revenue in December happens, where like videos are making a lot more than they normally do, that all just plummets because now people have their bills to pay from December. Right. So where a video would normally make, for example, let's say like $200, now it can make somewhere around the ballpark of like 50. That's why you see a lot of YouTubers just take off for the month of January. Oh, let's They're like, go. fuck this, dude. It's like <laughs> the, the ad revenue is so bad, we might as well dip out, you know? That's my move. I mean, you just kind of dip out you know, <laughs> every month. No matter, no matter what the month is. Hey, Phil, <laughs> can we make fitness content? Come on, Phil, where's hey, the fitness content? Hey, your podcast sucks, Phil. <laughs> Hey, you suck at life. <laughs> I honestly gave it a try, but the other guy is so fucking annoying. Yeah. Get rid of him. Then you'll have a good podcast, Phil. Yeah. You know what, man? Fuck you guys that hate on our podcast. We're fucking great. Yeah. And we know it, baby. <sighs> um. So wait, you said on New Year's Eve, what did you do for New Year's Day? What have you been doing? I know you said, you, obviously, you have the dog situation. I literally Have don't you been remember. doing anything else? We got a nice workout in the other day. That was pretty fucking True. Bad. We had some great... Cardio on the Stairmaster, beautiful mental clarity. My shoulder, I'm so happy I remember to say this. Like 95% better. I don't know what the hell happened, but dude, look look at that range of motion. I haven't had that range of motion since 1998. You put it above your head? Oh my You seeing this? You like that wingspan? Ladies, how you doing? How's the rotator cuff? Dude, I'm telling you, we're good. It's not really doing that crackalating thing anymore. My buddy Harrison, he told me, grab like a two and a half pound dumbbell, do this. Grab a cable. Do this. I started doing these exercises, and I guess it helped. Absolutely. And the other day, I was laying in my bed. I think I talked about this in the previous episode, but maybe not, but I'm going to tell the story again. Anyway, it was like the crack to end all cracks, and I thought to myself, my shoulder's broken, and it actually <laughs> must have fixed something. It just so, put it back into place. Any lingering injuries, anything going on in your life? No, I'm physically? extremely healthy. You're just in prime physical peak yeah. condition? <laughs> That's great. No, actually, the other day, I was going to the gym, and I have a razor in my bag, right? And I didn't put the razor head on it. A the, razor to shave your face. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the pubes on my face. As opposed to a razor scooter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which I also have in my car. Yes, no. of course. No, so I was digging through my bag. I was going with Jake the Snake, and all of a sudden, I pull my hand out because I got this sharp pain in my thumb. Look at my thumb, dude. There's oh, like a, yeah, you fucked that up. There's a divot missing in my thumb. Ooh. I pulled it back, and I just nicked it on the razor. That that sucks. Yeah. I actually don't even use razors. I literally just buzz. I, I have a buzzer. It's like this big. Thing's sick. <laughs> and it just cuts all my shit. Nice. I'm growing my beard out, though. My game plan is to, and you guys know, it's 2020 now. First episode of 2020, by the way. Fucking awesome. Big milestones here. 13K. On top of that, 
We're losing weight now, officially. No more BS. Haven't cheated on my diet since we started, baby. I'm not even going to call it a diet, motherfuckers. I'm going to call it Healthy Lifestyle 2020. I love it. New decade. You know, apparently this is actually not a new decade. 2021 is, th is the decade. See, like... I get it from a technical standpoint, but 10 years have gone by. 10 years is a decade. So it's, like, it's, pre it's pretty dumb when people are like, hey, it's actually a new decade in 2021, not 2020. Yeah, there was a shitstorm all over Twitter. People are like, it's not the new decade. I'm like, it kind of is, though. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to grow the beard out super duper thick, lose all this weight, and then one episode, I'm just going to come with a shaved <laughs> face, and everyone's going to be like, What? Who is this man? That's a good idea. Right? Because it's an illusion. The mm -hmm. more the more this gets thicker, the fatter I look. But realistically, it's going to have a reverse effect. It's it's all going to come together. The hair is going to keep growing. Oof, the yes. beard is going to keep growing. Yes. And then you're going to shave the beard. You're going to shave the weight off your body. Mm. And then your hair is going to be flowing in the wind. And then I'm going to shave all of my baggage, all my mental <laughs> incapacities that have... keep me stressed out. I ain't about it in this, okay. in this, in this decade or this year. I like that. Specific. I'm just going to fucking conquer. I'm going to be... Who's a famous conqueror? Alexander the Great. I'm going to be Alexander... I'm going to be Vinny the Great this year, <laughs> Phil. Are you ready to tag along, buddy old pal? I'm I'm there already. Yeah? I'm already conquering. What's the first thing you've conquered this year? In the last five days? I've been reading a lot. You have been. A lot of conquerors read. Okay, so bring us up to speed on one new thing you learned this week. That's a cool segment. What did Phil learn this week? I like that segment. What'd you learn, Chief? So I've been reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. Mm. It's pretty interesting. So basically, today I learned that habits and habit formation, let me collect my thoughts for a second, are most effectively changed, like you establish new habits, new healthy habits, the best, when you change your identity. Ooh. Right? Now, when you say identity, does that just mean like your overall take on you as a person so for example people that say i am not a morning person mm. you're writing that off as like a mental excuse meanwhile that's, like, that's complete bullshit so basically once you ingrain in your head that you say to yourself i can be a morning person you know what i'm saying or i'm just a person that can be any person that's it yeah. you could literally set your own exactly. i like that actually that's that's a very good way to look at life you know, you say to me, Vinny, you should start reading. Well, I, I'm not really a strong reader. I don't really, I don't really like to read. But you, you can might... be a reader. Yes, you can. It could potentially change your opinion as well. I feel like one goal, I know this sounds, to you, this is probably laughable. I would love to read one book this year. That's a good goal. Because I don't read at all. The only thing I read is my live stream chat, comments. That's it. Oh, anything online, text messages. I haven't read a book in forever. That's a very good goal. And I would love goal. to get on that level, on that wave of uh, of reading. That'd be that'd be dope. I'm also reading Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. What is that about? So little context. I used to read a lot of fiction like growing up, but then I transitioned into like self help stuff mm. and like it's just like mental masturbation though. Like it's like, you know, uh, rich dad, poor dad. Like I read all these fucking books. Mm. But now I'm getting back into like fiction because it, it's good to like stimulate your mind and like get that like creative yeah, yeah. side juicing again you Facts. know what i'm saying i've always said me as a person at least i know i don't we just talked about identity and not like labeling yourself as certain things but as far as what i do like i've always been more of a creative person as opposed to like an analytical person like i much prefer to write my own story as opposed to reading somebody else's and answering questions on it my reading comprehension in high school was ass <laughs> read this passage and answer these five questions uh -huh. i get done with the passage i'm like what the fuck did i just yeah. read i have to go back and underline and shit but the trick was and if you guys are still in school, use this. You read the questions first, then you read the passage to know what you're looking for. That's a that's a good hack. Have you ever done that? Yeah. You've had to have done that, right? Of it's course. not really a hack. It's just kind of strategy. It's just like finding answers, pretty much. I'm all, I'm all about finding answers in life right now. <laughs> what answers are you trying to find? I think I've already found it. I feel so much better in this episode than previous episodes, just from where I'm at. The, when, the new, when the new year hits for me, it's always great because I could just... I have that in my brain of like, dude, it's reset time. Any bullshit that I was doing, any th bad vibes I was feeling, I'm leaving that shit, I'm leaving that shit back there. You can like lock it in a cage yes. in the 2019 bubble, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And yep. that bubble's just going to float to an abyss somewhere. It's and already gone. Yeah, see you later, fucker. Yeah. And we're here. So I think you asked me what Slaughterhouse Five is about, right? Yeah. It's about, I'm not that far into it, but basically this guy, it's, a, it's about 
Kurt Vonnegut. He was in World War II, so it's about his like life instances that are kind of exaggerated, and it is fiction. But basically, Dresden was bombed in World War II, which is in Germany, and it's about this mm. guy that survived by staying in a slaughterhouse, like wow. in, a, in a locker. And like basically tells you what he did. And well, it, it's like a comedy book. It's like a very oh, dark, wow. satirical, comedic take on it. And his writing style is really funny, and it's like really interesting. It's to the point. Like he, his sentences are like six words long. Really? Yeah. I could never do that. <laughs> it's it's people weird. love to roast me in the comments about how I go on these long monologues. I don't know why that is. I mean, even when we talk on a regular basis outside of the podcast, I just talk a lot. That's just kind of naturally the way that I'm programmed. I guess. Would you ever want to write a book though? Because I know you read a lot. Oh hell yeah! That you should do. I will write a book. And dude, the the career path that we have, where you have your audience, and there a lot of them are ride or die audience that will literally follow you wherever you go. A lot of people that came over this podcast, you could literally promote your book through your YouTube channel, dude. You could chart on like the New York Times list. I want to write a book on social media theory. I think I could involving kill it. what growth, every aspect to social media, like just yeah. how to. That was basically what my senior. Th- have you? You're not even done yet. I just semester. realized. I was going to say, what's your senior thesis? Do you know what you're going to write about? Probably YouTube, if yeah, I can. Ex- mine was called uh, <clears throat> YouTube 101, how to turn your hobby into a career or something like that. How to turn your hobby into a thriving business or I something read like it. that. You should. It's upstairs in the China, Yo, cl- let's uh, go. China closet. We have this big thing where like, we put, it's like a see-through. I think it's called a China closet. That's what it's called, right? <laughs> it's like a see-through like furniture piece that you open up and then you put stuff in there like my first... Good report card. My, right. <laughs> this thing, a little, you know, glass duck that my mom thinks is cute, all shit like that. And it's in there. You can read it. It's like 45 pages. How long did that take? Like, did you procrastinate? I'll, and I'll then- be honest with you. I wrote, I wrote five pages the first time it was due. And then I literally hammered out, I think, 30 to 40 pages <laughs> the night before. I have Jesus literally, I, I documented the whole night on Instagram. I, I'm sure there's a highlighted story of it somewhere. Literally, me, my friend Gabby, you've met Gabby, mm-hmm. shout out Gabby. And uh, my friend Alessandro, we literally sat in the library and just got it done. I ended up getting a, a B plus in the entire course. So I think a B plus. So it worked out really well. I'm actually pretty good under pressure when it comes to getting shit done from like a, I mean, any, any perspective really. Like if we have, you know, only an hour to get something done, we'll, we'll knock it out. You know yep. what I mean? I'm usually pretty good with that. Yeah. There's that one theory. I forget what it's called, but basically if you allot yourself a certain amount of time to accomplish a task, then you're going to take all that time that you allotted yourself. So it's like. If you say, I'm going to get this paper done in two weeks, then it's going to take you two weeks to get it done. But then if you say that, like, I'm going to get this done in the next 12 hours, mm. you're going to hit that crunch time. And a, a bunch of people have definitely <clears throat> asked us to talk about our perspective on like procrastination in general. Honestly, I know it's so hard to get to the mindset of, you know, just get it done early. But one thing I was really good with college was getting my homework done and my assignments done ASAP. The, the big paper and big daunting things that would take a while, that's where I would procrastinate because I'm like, yo, that's way too big to even tackle right now. We'll wait. But the easy shit, dude, if you know on Friday you have something due and it's Tuesday the week before, just get that shit done. I know. I remember we had that Moodle website where you could literally log on some of the classes and literally do the whole homework for the semester if you wanted. One day I had an hour slot in the library before I went to go work out. I got done like eight assignments. <laughs> you just chilling in class. Literally right? just hammering shit out, dude. How just, I mean... I was going to say something that I probably shouldn't say. I was Depending on your major and your time <laughs> management, it could be, uh, like, at least for me, I'll just say it personally. I won't right. say, I won't make a blanket statement. It was a pretty easy go through for me, at least. I mean, we're communication majors, mm-hmm. so obviously our, you know, degree of difficulty is way less than if you're like a medical student. I, I don't want to piss anybody off there, so I'm glad I caught that. But like, at least for me, I would, I would get everything done when I needed to get done. I had a lot of fun working on what I was working on because it was literally right up my alley. And it just, it was just a really good experience, honestly. Yeah. I, I think it is interesting though, because if you throw a medical student into like the comm department or like any communication courses, like they can't make a movie sometimes. Yeah. Well, like, that's <laughs> the thing too. I mean, you know, I would say arguably, yes, it is harder to become a doctor than to get a communications degree, obviously. Yeah, right, right. That's what I would say. <laughs> I think everyone would agree. But there are certain things in like, if someone had to do a floor plan, I don't know if you've ever done a floor plan. I still can't even do them. And I fucking graduated right. with it. I hate them. Basically, what a floor plan is, before you shoot a scene, you have to blueprint the entire scene. So you have to put where the windows are, where the light source is, where your cameras are going to be, where they're fucking pointed, if there's a tracking shot, if the camera's going to go here, (laughs) and then you list everything on the bottom. Dude, when we would get floor plans in college, I'd fucking shut down and be like, another fucking floor plan? Come on, man. I'd lose my shit in my brain. I'd be like, this is fucking... I hated it. That was probably my most hated thing. I actually haven't done that many of them. You're so lucky. We did them all the fucking time in video one and cinematography 
Do you think they're that important? It depends what you're doing, I guess. Everything I'm saying today is like opinion based. So I would say <laughs> no, because I am just show up. Let's do it. Right. You know, it, it definitely is important for a lot of people because you need to know, well, if the person's walking this way and the camera's shooting them from this angle and then they start talking to this character, if it's not in the right like line of sight, they won't be looking at each other. So no, like, you'll be like, hey, Phil, what's up? And you'd be like, nothing, man. What's going on? You can't intertwine <laughs> right. that. So it does make sense. But I mean, I did a lot of music video work in college, which I was telling you about the other day. And literally all I would do is record an absurd amount of different angles of the person lip singing the song. All my music videos were raps. They were actually raps that I've made. I'll, I'll show you them. They're pretty funny. And uh, they're all like comical skit type stuff. And you would just bring it into the editing room, sync everything up and just intertwine the cuts. But I didn't need to make a floor plan for that. They would say you do. All these huge production shoots for like music videos with, I don't know, fucking 50 Cent, Eminem, all these big, any artist really, they're going to have a production team that probably someone there is making a floor plan. Yep planning costumes, catering services. It's a lot different than just, I got my Sony camera, let's fucking do this, man. <laughs> I got my Canon G7X Mark II and I'm going to vlog my day. It's like, a great vlog camera, though. <laughs> it really is. They made a new one, the G7X 3 right? Mark III. Yeah, yeah, the Mark III. Or the Mark IV they might even be at now. She's I think crazy. they're still at three. They're at three? Yeah, fuck me, right? right I could be wrong. You never uh, know. You never I prefer know. Sony cams over Canon. No disrespect to either because they're both great, but this camera that we're using right now, this is the camera that I would film all the vlogs on. This thing's awesome. It's got the... I would always recommend, too, getting the bigger lens because you can zoom and it makes everything so much more immersive canon versus sony that's an interesting topic you would say canon you use canon a lot actually i use a canon well i mean we both use canon yeah. ads but the thing with sony is the downside is like you have to buy native sony lenses mm. facts like, it's like or you need to get the converter i think isn't mm. there like a lens adapter i think i think you're right about that i'm not i'm not huge into the the hardware of cameras, I I'm, I, I really should be because, again, this is what we studied in school, but um, I know more about, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm more so better at, again, the creative side and the storytelling aspects than the technical side. Right. Because a lot of technical stuff, to me, is just boring. That's why floor plans, to me, they're boring. I can make a funny scene, but I don't want to, like, fucking <laughs> sit there Explain and, to and you ex how and yeah, why yeah, Exactly. A Sometimes you just catch lightning in a bottle. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, I use the Canon ADD for my, for my live streams. I completely forgot about that. The battery on that thing lasts... Sick. Six years. Like, this battery's pretty good, too. We, we were having our doubts when we first started filming, because we were like, are we even going to make it to the hour mark? This shit will last an hour and a half on one, straight through one charge 1080p. This thing's a, what is this, Canon? This is the, I mean, no, uh, this is the Sony A6400, I believe, mm. with the bigger lens that you can, like, pop zoom. Gotcha. Which, one day, once we get enough upgrades, I would love to have someone operating where we could, like, move the camera and follow us. We're going to have shot. nine cameras. Oh, yeah. And 13 operators. We're going to have a floor plan guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to hire our own floor plan guy. I, uh, I wanted a camera. I was going to make a joke that I wanted a camera angle right here, just shooting up my nose. I have to, <laughs> I have to trim my nose hairs, dude. You guys obviously can't see it from that angle. Look at them right now. They're bad. Are they sticking out? Not really. I must have tucked them in before we started filming, just not even realizing it. Dude, they're like, they're bad. And it's so uncomfortable for me to fucking buzz them. Have you ever shaved your nose? Yeah, you even have nose hair, you yeah, little I baby do. boy. Yeah, I do. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Literally sucks. Why am I a baby boy? <laughs> you're so you're so young. You know, you got uh, you, you got the whole world in front of you. The world is your oyster. Nah, is it though? You're twenty. You're twenty one, right? Yeah. I really underestimate how much older I am. I'm three years older, right? I'm two. Well, I'm gonna be twenty four. I'm gonna be twenty four very soon. Okay, you're two in years April. and two years and three months. There you go. It's a long fucking time. It's another ninety days on top of that year. Hey, you? you're right. Think about how much you can do in ninety fucking days. You can reinvent yourself in ninety days. I'm getting my body lasered this year. You want to talk about this? Yes. Yeah, so let's talk about like, like manscaping. Yeah, rituals. yeah. I'm with it. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm hairy as shit. <laughs> so it's it's deceiving though, because I don't have a lot of hair on my arms or my legs are actually not even that bad. It's my back, my chest, my stomach. And my ass. And your face. And, and my face, obviously. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that they can tell, yes. But uh, I would always buzz my back, buzz my chest, and it, I look so good when I do it, and I love it. Some people like the hairy vibe. I don't really fuck with it, to be honest with you. But I looked into it. You can go, I think it's three sessions. They laser you, and then the hair literally won't come back. I like it. I mean. I mean, if, if, you're, if your motive is to be dolphin. Yeah. Dolphin-esque. Facts. And not deal with the hair. Because I. Dealing with that amount of hair that you have, like, I would not be able to. to <sighs> I literally sometimes when I'm laying in bed can, like, sh like put all the hair up, and it legit is, like, five inches off the <laughs> It's fucking crazy, uh, dude. And, and, and you know, too, because when I first buzz it, Phil came over, 
and we were getting ready to go out, and my shirt was off right after the shower, and Phil was like, uh, yo, you're looking like you're losing weight, dude. I was like, I really haven't lost weight. I think I just shaved my fucking chest, yeah. and it just looks like, it's a, it's an illusion. It's like I shaved my face. We talked about it earlier. It just looks thinner. Um, What's the goal with your hair right now? By my, the way. Are you just growing my head it? Head hair or like still my growing? body hair? Your hair, like, hair, your head hair. Yeah, I'm just growing it. I'm vibing out. Dude. What's the what's the ultimate goal though? Down in my titties. Yeah. It's just like. But right what's there. gonna make you stop there? I don't know. <laughs> Shit, you might just you all might my say, power Fuck comes it. from my hair, dude. That's true. No, what I'm what I'm probably going to do is get like really into like a hair routine and take proper care of it, and then keep it maybe like two to three inches longer than it is now, and just like chill with that for a little bit you were gonna dye it right is that off the table or are you gonna I, it just murders your hair unless i'm going to cut my hair and donate it like i feel you i feel you i've always wanted to dye my hair a cool color like hit a goal on a stream or something be like yo i'm gonna dye my hair green tomorrow like fuck it you know what like I mean? every youtuber does that. yeah but it's fun and it's a cool conversation starter you walk into the bar you see a guy with lime green hair what is he all about <laughs> that man say, is on some other shit i want to say what's up that's true you know i was gonna go white like gray i i we talked about this. I remember when we had this conversation. I support this 100%. You'll look like the Witcher. Dude. Geralt. Is his hair white? I think yep. his hair is white. Witcher's hairs are all white. Oh, so he's... I don't know about this lore, but is he one of many Witchers? Yes. Or are they just like spellcasters? And Basically, they're genetically modified uh, monster hunters. Ooh. They drink like special potions and elixirs, and it like temporarily alters like their strength and everything like that. They have uh, cat really cool. eyes, so they're like yellow and white hair. That's sick. And you just beat the shit out of things. Dude, was, uh, the yellow eye conversation or that point made me think about like colored contacts. And I got new glasses today or rather got my prescription of new glasses today. They'll be here soon. I can't wait to wear them on the podcast because they're fresh as fuck. But I, I literally still, my dad brought up today. He goes, you ever wear contacts? I was like, I, I can't do it. I literally went to a session when I was in the eighth grade once for like an hour trying to get them in. I'm like, yo, what am I going to torture myself every day? I like the way I look at my glasses. I don't need the fucking yeah. contacts. Fuck that shit. I think my vision's getting worse. It definitely is getting worse. That's horrifying. I mean, at every straight, like, am I going to be fucking blind at 30? Like, I, I used to worry about that all the time. We talk about in 2020, no more worrying, no more anxiety. But every year that I go, they said it'll probably keep getting worse until you're at like 25 and then it will taper off. So. It's not drastic, though. The only time where you see... I mean, it depends on the person, but at least for me, the only time I'll really notice that it's drastic is, like, if I have a pair of glasses that had a certain prescription from, like, four years ago, and then I get a new prescription and then swap it, yep. you literally can't see. They have to adjust. So, little micro uh, change... Hey, Mom, we're filming here! Come on, please! She doesn't even hear me. You know, we need a studio, we man. We need a studio. <laughs> Every... We need to soundproof this entire room. You know what's weird? The first fucking seven episodes, they were literally like on vacation every time yep. we were filming. Now they're just fucking hanging out in the back room shooting the shit with grandma. With Nona. Shout out Nona. She was at the holiday. She made some good fucking Zeppelis. Did you put the Alish in there? Yep. Really? And I, taught, I brought the fact. I was like, yeah, my, my buddy Phil was talking about the anchovies and all that. We were talking about, we were laughing. Dude, they were the ones, they weren't, they, she had the dessert ones, and then she had, like, the regular ones, the right. dessert ones with the little powdered sugar on them. Phil? They might be the best food. I almost just sat on my eat. nutsack. <laughs> I was all the way down, like, no! <laughs> that would have been a problem. Jesus Christ, you know it's hot in here. Your sack is dude, dangling that Dude, my sack long. just gets in the water yeah. when I sit down and take a duty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it do be like that yeah. sometimes. You know, none of us have either uh, had to take a piss ever. In the podcast, I was thinking I was about thinking that the that other day because I have to pee right now. Do you really have to pee? Yeah, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go. Mom, I'm not joking. Please, mom, we're filming. I love you dearly, but please. Oh my god, she just got louder. She did. It's okay. You know what? If you guys randomly see us in Phil's bedroom <laughs> in the next episode, <laughs> you know why we left. Dude, that'd be fun with Griff. Yo, I can't wait to see this doggy, man. He's so freaking cute. Oh, I went to the allergist because I was having this issue. You know, I'm technically on steroids right now. What are you on? Uh, Predazone? Pregnazone? Predazone. Is it with a G? Yeah. It, it, whatever you said, then yeah. It's whatever the steroid is for asthma. We God forbid, what the hell did we just talk about? Um, But yeah, I'm on four tablets of that a day. And it Prednisone. Not, Prednisone, that's it, yeah. It, does it say, like, it's for the, like... Uh, asthma systems and all that Yeah, all shit. steroids usually treat inflammation. Yes, that's what it was, the word inflammation. But yeah, I, every year around literally this time, I get the same thing where I get this like tightness in my chest and it's 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 something like an infection in the, what was, what was the system we just talked about? The inf inflammatory system? 
That's not a system in your body. What were we just talking about? That word? Inflammation. Inflammation, yeah. Something happens with inflammation, <laughs> all this shit. I'm not a fucking doctor. Like I said, I'm a Probably communications major. In your alve- alveoli, like mm. the little grape clusters. That, whatever. Anyway, they give me these fucking pills, and then I feel better within like three days, but those three days before I go to the doctor, it's fucking... It is literally an oofy poopy. Like, I can't fucking breathe. I have to take my nebulizer every four hours. It's a fucking pain. I feel so much better right now. Good. So I have like two more. I think I have one more day on it, and then I'm good. I hate taking medication, though, man. I always forget to take it at the right times and shit. I'm better with it. Yeah. I I don't understand people that are like, I don't finish my uh, antibiotics, or I never do that. It's like, doctors know what they're doing. They're prescribing you something. (laughs) Like, See, what happens to me is I'll have it for three days. I don't... Okay, well, really, if you really want to know why I always fuck up... I I couldn't take pills so I was in like literally 10th grade. I'm not even joking. I would have to put them in fucking apple yep. so I could swallow a whole penne noodle, but I couldn't swallow a pill. There's something about when that consistency of the pill hits my tongue, I just like wish it around in my mouth. So dude, right now I have to take four of those steroid pills and then one other pill. So that's five pills every single time I have to take it. If I start feeling better by the third day, I'm like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> not going to sit there for 10 minutes trying to swallow it. these fucking things. I could do it without water. Without water? Without That's water. crazy. Dude, have you ever seen my Juji Mufu video? I definitely have seen it, but I don't remember it. The it man... Probably a long time ago. Popped 20, The horse pills, right? They were 26 huge. pills at once. Clearly not smart, right? Just... Why the fuck would he do... <laughs> just in, down done. the hatch? Dude, would he have taken them all separately? Like, you could take whatever the hell he was taking it all separately? Were they just supplements and shit? Yeah, it was just sep- Jesus, supplements. like Christmas. Vitamin D. But he knew, like, which ones to take. Otherwise, you couldn't, like, overdose. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, 26 pills at once sounds a little scary. Because I was wondering when I read the bottle, I'm like, four pills in one... Se- I'm like, am I supposed to take four at the same time? <laughs> Do I take one at a time? One of them got stuck on the back of my tongue, melted a little bit. I'm like, trying to get the fucking thing out. It was... It hasn't been good with mm. the medication. But, like I said, feeling better. So that is... Uh, it's Knock a beautiful on that thing. wood. Knock on, yo, this is a nice fucking... This, this table was like the greatest thing we did in 2019. Mahogany. Mahogany. Also, I ordered a new uh, mic cap for my, my mic in my studio where I go live streaming Good. because literally, I think it was you. You came in the office. You're like, dude, this is disgusting. Is there filthy. was like... It looked like literally someone took a snowball and just threw it <laughs> on the top of the mic. There was just white just spit. Dust spit. I don't even want to know what else. The pro- yeah. <laughs> The problem is when I'm sh- when I'm streaming, I'm I'm fucking loud. I'm just constantly yelling and shit, and I don't even realize I'm spitting. My computer monitor right now. Why don't you clean it? Because here's the thing, Phil. I clean it, and then a week later, it's the same shit. So okay, I'm like, we're gonna. It's a good I, habit. You're... I'll do it once a month. You should do it once a week. I'll do it twice a week. So if your car <laughs> if your car is dirty, right? Because my sister is guilty of this. Mm. She'll just like bask in it and be like, oh, it's dirty. Like I'll just get it dirty tomorrow. Like what's the point of cleaning? It's that's. Like, that's that's a defeatist mindset, goddammit. Yeah, I just, I mean, my thing, honestly, the reason, it's not, it's really not even a lazy thing. It just, it constantly gets dirty. It's kind of what you said about your, like, with your sister's car. I, I, when I clean it, it's amazing because it's such a great experience when the screen's clean, but then it gets dirty within like three days. I'm like, I guess I could just really do it. So then you just whatever. clean it again. It just doesn't really bother me that much. That's mm. probably why I don't clean it. Still gross. <laughs> yeah. It, well, it's not like I'm spitting on the screen and licking it. Yeah, I'm just, it's, you know, I'm fucking five feet or three feet from I don't the know. thing. With me, like, if my desk is not, like, properly organized and clean and, like, wiped down and everything, like, I don't, I don't want to say, like, perform, but, like, I don't think as clearly as I do. See, I don't give a shit about that. Okay. I'm, and and that, that goes back to just the topic of, you know, why don't I clean the screen? It's just, you know, if, it, if something doesn't bother me, probably not going to address it mm. if I don't have to. In other words, like, my dad fucking flips out the biggest fights we have in, in 2019, 2020, that the fact that I leave towels on the ground. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like, you're, you're getting mad at me about towels on the ground? There's worse things in the world. Pick up your fucking towel. I get it. It takes two seconds. But to me, I'll be honest with you. I get out of the shower. I jump in my bed. I'm just like, Bloop. I just I don't really think about now it. How long does that towel sit there? Just till, you know, the next time I need the towel. I don't fucking know. I don't, okay. I'm not, I don't actively think about it. It is your shit. domain down here. So yeah, I mean, it's, like, you know, I'm in my fucking space, you know? But I get it. Um, me though, when it, I, I feel like if it gets to the point with you where you feel like, I know you joked around, not joked around, but you said like, I can't really, not that you can't perform, but you mentioned that it's might be like a form of like a mini OCD where you feel like you need to be structured. Cause me, all my OCD is mental structure. Mm-hmm. I need to know exactly what the fuck I'm thinking on a particular situation at every point. But my binders in the high school, man, or in, in college, even when I had, I think I had binders, it was all just on my Mac. But anyway, the first month of school, I'm great. And then by the end of it, I have the same binder. All my papers are like just shoved in it. Have no organization. As long as I can get my shit done, I'm good. I think organization is key. 
Uh, just for me, for, I was, yeah. For you, for, it's debatable. I mean, some people can strive and, and get shit done without it. Some people literally need that compartment. Com, I can never say this fucking word. Compartmentalize everything. I mm -hmm. think I said that right. Who knows? I'm not a fucking thesaurus over here. Phil is googling something, guys. What are we looking up, Chief? I remember I was reading uh, the autobiography of Ben Franklin, mm. and he wrote this one thing. It, it was published in the news back when he would write for the newspapers. Um, but, like, he did, like, 12 rules or something like that, like, five rules. I forget what it was. But basically, he tried to, like, perfect areas of his life to find if an answer would, like, provide some like, mm. insight. And one of them was organization. But ultimately, he found out that, like, no, it doesn't. But it, all these things together can help. I think it can work very, very beneficially to a lot of people. Granted, I would say, what would be better? Organized or not organized? Obviously, organized. I would you, say are or you are organized, though. Yeah. It's just with certain things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, certain things... That is, that is an interesting way to look at it. There's different, like, levels to this stuff. Like, yeah. as far as my live streaming, I'm organized as fuck. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> but when it comes to, like, you know, wiping the Towels. screen. <laughs> yeah, wiping the screen and picking up a towel, not so organized. Yeah. That's interesting. That's a really, that's a cool topic to talk about. It's like, I don't know, I feel like every person just has their little quirks and little things. Like, there's got to be something that you don't do that most people do that you're just like, I don't give a fuck. Like, why do I even have to do that? Uh, is there anything, can, can you think of something off the spot? About that. Do you rack your weight to the gym? Yeah. Good. I, I, I was going to say, that is one exception. You need to rack Keep your going. fucking Stimulate weights. Stimulate my brain. All because... right, rack your weights. Um, I'm trying to think of more like day-to-day -day shit. When you make cereal, do you put your milk in first? or your? That's just... <laughs> These are all things you just shouldn't do. These aren't good examples right now. <laughs> Let me think. I eat all my food cold. That's not really a choice. I mean, that is a choice type thing. <laughs> I don't like hot food. I don't like burning my mouth. Dude. Is it is an expediency thing because you could just eat it right away? I just I I don't know what it is. It's something about cold texture, I guess, or it being cold. It's just, like congeals I like it. though. I like it. Like a cold oh. piece of pizza over hot pizza any day of the week. Any fucking moment of my life. I'll eat it cold if it's like left over mm. in the morning. Mm. You know, you ever have one of those? Of course. Well, I ever have one of those. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably eaten you know what would be cool if in one day we are so advanced as a society that you can go through people like a fucking like a web browser like a stat and cheap. you can literally see like how many pieces of chocolate has Phil eaten in his life and you click that yeah. my pizza stat would be like <laughs> fucking the bar graph would be all, right. off the chain dude I've eaten so much pizza same it's actually crazy how much I eat and considering like my body size no <laughs> well, joke not, not really because you built up a metabolism yeah. from lifting heavy ass yeah, yeah. weights. Well, that's like, what I'm saying. It's interesting. It's just like, because when people, when we go out and they see me eat, they're like, you ever see like a really fat person, but when they go out, they don't even eat that much. Yeah. I'm the opposite. Like I'm not, I'm not, you know, by all means, I'm not shredded right now, but like, I don't think you would think I could put down like a whole pie right. by myself. You know what I mean? It's like the flip side of that coin. I just, man, I, I think if we're going to be honest about it, I think I actually just have an eating disorder. I just love food. I mean, I love food like too. I love binge eating though. It's not well. Binge eating is different than like yeah. Binge eating is like crazy next level. Yeah. Well, I do it pretty often. Like the McDonald's things. That <laughs> well, I'm I'm thinking from the perspective of this. Like, and I don't know if it's because a lot of the times last year at least when I would try to revamp the diet starting on a Monday, if I have Saturday Sunday now I'm like okay this is gonna be my last time cheating before Monday I'm on. So I'll literally sometimes go upstairs. I'll just be bored in the middle of the night. I'll literally go from like a bowl. Of, I know this is going to be disgusting, so just prepare. <laughs> if there's not an actual meal and I don't feel like leaving the house, I'll go from like a bowl of chips and salsa to like Pop-Tarts to fucking the leftover fucking fettuccine Alfredo to a fucking thing of Oreo cookies. Like it should not be all together, yeah. but I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going to start my diet Monday. So again, it might just be a mental thing. But even when we, even when we go out, I, I think I'm just an extremist. I'm trying to like define myself in this <laughs> podcast, which we talked about earlier. You probably shouldn't do, but it's just like, I don't know. In anything I do, I, I really believe in like momentum and just like, I eat a fuck ton of food. Yeah. Like I can put down so much food. Yeah. You're a beast. But, but like, I don't, I don't find myself craving pop tarts, chips and like, <laughs> I'm a fat fucking heart. Dude. I always will be. My dad said to me the other day, he goes, you know, you do the diet great when you're on, but like when you do a cheat meal, have one or two slices. Don't order a whole extra large meat lovers pie. I'm I, like, I know, I, I but... I think there's inherently a problem with cheat meals in general. If you can establish a That's structure or habit right where, now. like, you just eat healthier, you won't have those fucking dirty cravings. Facts. <laughs> um, I told myself once I get into the 170s, I'll add one cheat meal a week again. 
Right now I'm 188 about, so eight pounds is a really good amount of weight. It's clearly going to be noticeable. Once I get that momentum down, I'll give myself not, I don't want to do a day anymore either because a day is just out of control. I'll do a meal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One meal. And honestly, a lot of the time last year when I was really on or two years ago when I was really on, my cheat meals are just like, because I don't, I like to do the low carb. So like, it'll be like a thing of sushi. It, granted, it's a lot of fucking sushi, but it's still not that bad. Mm -hmm. And McDonald's obviously is the worst, but that's just like my fucking <laughs> that guilty is nuclear. pleasure. <laughs> it is so bad. <clears throat> you ever, you ever just lay in your bed after eating McDonald's and you just, you're just like, why did I do this? The regret. The only time I've had McDonald's was like with me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like literally. A bad influence, dude. No, Wendy's slaps. It's good, but like comparatively speaking to McDonald's, I don't even think you have an argument. Here. I think Wendy's is better. The fries are worse. The nuggets are pretty good at Wendy. I'll nuggets be beat the shit out of McDonald's nuggets. The spicy nuggets at Wendy's. Dude? I don't like spicy, but I'm sure oh, they're fantastic. Lord. You know what's good at Wendy's? What's their chicken sandwich called? The chicken sandwich. It's just called the chicken sandwich. Okay, that I remember being really good. Because at McDonald's, it's the McChicken. The crispy chicken sandwich at McDonald's. We really should be talking about this while I'm like on the grind. Because I have to eat right after this. But dude, oh my god, it is so good. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is very good. Chick fil A slaps. Close on I'm Sunday. If, yeah. Chick -fil -A. It's the Lord's Day. It's the Lord's Day. Close on the Lord's Day. We we have a Chick fil A pretty close to Adelphi, right? Mm. Like 10 minutes from Adelphi? Uh, not it's more by Hofstra. Not that I know of. It's more by Hofstra. Hofstra would be a better. <laughs> well, I need to start going then. <laughs> mm, yeah, facts. It's right by. Uh... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the like store. I, I'm going to sit over here like I know the street yeah. names. You ever listen to adults talk about travel? Yeah. Like if they're going upstate. You bang a left uh, northeast of uh, I 95, and then. Four blocks down, you bang a right, you pass by old uh, Farmer Joe's house. Yeah. You keep going for 68 miles. You take the 17 or the 35, the 42, like, you can see a red fuck? fence. <laughs> like, dude, with me and with our generation, it's like, yo, drop a pin. I'll Literally. be there when the Uber fucking gets me there. Or if I'll we, follow the instructions on If the we phone. did not have navigation, I, I would have like a charter in front of me yeah. and I'd have to plot coordinates to get like... You know, crazy. Three towns away. You're fucking crazy GPS is. It's nuts. It's so underlooked because it's just the norm. There yeah. are satellites that know where we are and can take us where we gotta go. Like, I know. It knows the world. It might be one of the biggest inventions of humankind. Well, they say if it, they say if God forbid AI ever does strike in a negative way and they turn off our GPS, we're, we're like we're literally <laughs> we're fucked. We can't go anywhere. They know how to get everywhere. The crazy thing, too, is like you could be at my computer right here and then boop, you're in Phil's house fucking yep. hacking his shit. Literally. Hackers are scary. Hackers. Uh, what? How do you become a hacker? I don't get it. At what age? I feel like it has to be like family related. Like you have to have like a hacker in your family and then it's like, hey, I'll show you the dark side. We're going to pass down the torch of yeah. hacking no, capabilities. No, it's, it's super like close knit like that. It yeah. has to be. I come from a I come from a family of people who are making a pizza, so. Yeah. I don't got really any hacking skills. My dad swings golf clubs and my mom uh, saves lives. Mm. Did I ever tell you a story when I got hacked? No. I didn't think I, I didn't do, well, I definitely didn't know you. Um, I had, you know, my, do you know about my parody account? My uh, at original 151 on Twitter. It was an account where I, I got it in high school and I would basically post a bunch of Pokemon memes on it. Yeah. And then I would use that to promote my YouTube channel. So literally, I, I'm, I'm not going to get in like Wait, the. doesn't Selena Gomez follow you on that account? No, Ariana Grande yes. follows a different account that I have, the Ash Ketchum 151. This account. man is so deep in the meat. I was I was big into parody accounts back in the day. We could save that for another podcast to, to talk about that. But basically, I got fished. So essentially, password like yeah. I I thought I was on the Twitter page. I was talking to these dudes. I put in all my make sure you guys, if you ever get a link or anything, it, do not do not log on to anything unless you're directly on the app or the website. Don't ever follow a link. It happens in my Instagram DMs all the time. So it's like, hey, oh, yeah. look, I made you this. Yeah, or, you oh, you look hilarious in this pic. Yep. Don't click that and shit. And it just says, like, log into Instagram. I'm like, I wasn't born fucking yesterday, yeah. boyos. Chief. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I logged on. It looked just like Twitter. I typed in my shit, and instantly I got kicked. You want to talk about, you know, moments in your life. That account at that time, still to this day. I mean, now it's obviously my YouTube channel is like my, my everything. Before my YouTube channel and I had that account, that was like my baby and it just got taken from me. I think two days went by and thank God I got it back, knock on wood, because without that account, I don't even know where my career would be right now, dude. That was a huge, huge stepping stone uh, for me and in, in, in all of my content creation, which is crazy. I don't think I've ever been hacked. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a fucking, it's a weird, the digital age you is fucking weird. You know what used to piss me so much off? What? That was a weird sentence, but anyway, back when I would play... <sighs> Halo 3, like competitively. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's 
great. Yeah, so when I would play that game, ranked online, there's this thing called host booting. Now, they would give host, the person that would basically be, like, behind the scenes, like, the owner of the lobby, mm. based on, like, whoever had the best internet connection. So, you could log on to this thing, this, like, client on your computer like become host and then kick people from the lobbies oh, so shit. you'd be playing and then all of a sudden the enemy team will just like disappear or your teammates will just disappear mm. and then basically what that did was if you were to host boot everyone in the lobby but yourself you win the game so people just cheat and fucking yeah so you just get into a match host boot the other team That's and whack. then you win and then you rank up to 50 it's, it used to drive me nuts yes yeah, it's, it's a it's fucking it's just so crazy how I don't even know how to properly word this, but we have so much stock in our lives and digital stuff that it's not even tangible. It's just an account it's or weird. a fucking password that you type in and then you're in and shit like that. It's uh scary. It is scary. But cool. But cool. <laughs> Indeed. Um, we, we literally are already at the 45 minute mark. Did we want to dive into a little would you rather in this one? Absolutely. Why Let's not? Let's fucking do it. This is like literally one of our favorite segments. We've only done it one other time. We want to make sure we don't hammer it too much, but every couple episodes we're definitely going to boot up some would you rather and they're going to ask us essentially two options we pick which one we would like to do i mean you guys know how this works saying fucking rocket science mate if you were only able to eat one of the two would you rather only eat meat or only eat fish meat yeah it's isn't meat. fish kind of meat though yeah you know what i'm saying still an animal i feel you would you only eat lima beans for the rest of your life <laughs> or be only... allowed to eat your favorite meal but only three times a week Favorite meal three times a week. What are these questions? This buddy? is fucking ass. Come on, would you rather step up your game up? The AI is not doing good today on this shit, dude. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Ready? This, this doesn't even Another make sense. Shit. What would yeah. you rather eat? A fucking yeah. toaster oven? Another eat one? Yeah. Is literally. this like the eat version? Yeah, I'm not even on the eat version. <laughs> eat 300 donuts in four hours for $500. That's physically impossible. Yeah. And Only Matt Megatoad Stoney can do that. Shout out Matt Megatoad Stoney. <laughs> but yeah, why would you even do that for 500 bucks? You'd or, fucking die. Drink a cup of sour milk for fifty. Can I not drink either? Yeah, you have to pick one, I guess. I drink. Stupid. I would drink the sour milk. For 50. This this is just this is. Uh, read that. Uh, <laughs> oh dear God! What do we? Yep, Skippy, <laughs> Skippy, do Dippy. <laughs> what do we got next, kid? Would you rather save Tupac's life or see Jesus for two hours? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. I'm sorry, my guy, Tupac. <laughs> wait, let me wait. <laughs> wait, let me hear this again. I'm sorry. Would you rather save Tupac's life? Or see Jesus for two hours. I would go with the saving the life. Right? I'm not even going to answer that one. <laughs> no, well, I won't, wait, so, wait. I'm seeing God. But, but I'm shocked that we op, like answer that oppositely because would, you're usually the one that doesn't have a lot of the fate and stuff like that. You mean the faith? Yeah. I would ask Jesus, hey, bring my boy Tupac back. How about that? Oh, that's, that's a good one to look at it. See, I just look at it from the standpoint of like one is kind of selfish and one is not. You okay. Know? This You're is, already this checked is, off. This, You're on the next one. This Sounds is good. an interesting one. It kind of ties in. Okay, bring it. Would you rather the world be full of atheists or the world be full of Christians? Like 100%. I mean, I would say probably Christian just because... <sighs> I'm dude, if no, if no one believed in anything we of be, a higher power, it would be such be a weird so world. advanced, dude. We would already have AI. I think people would just go crazy, though. Do you know how many wars have been started as a result of religion? I understand, but I also think from a personal perspective that a lot of people, like, literally need their faith to go on. Why? It's it's what people hold on to. A, a lot of the times, it's what I hold on to. Just that belief that, you know, no matter what happens, there's there's going to be something out there that can help in some way to make something work out. It's like a nice way to just... I know it's not something that you agree with, no, but just, for me, I'm it's... I'm trying to process that. Yeah, it's just, you know... I mean, dude, you hear examples all the time of when people are at their lowest of their low in their lives, and then they, for for that one moment, like, please, God, help me. You know, you just, all of a sudden, you're like, I, I need something here. I need, oh! I need something to help me out. Divine intervention. And I think it's okay to understand that, you know, you're strong enough to get through things on your own, but it's also okay to go for a, you know, like you said, that divine power out there that could potentially help you in but some way. But do you way. think God does that? Do you think God has ever intervened and, like, holy energy has came down sparked your brain and been like you can do this i don't know it's a good question i mean i definitely i definitely am a strong believer in in faith i mean i don't i don't go to church a lot and stuff like that but at least for me like my thing is i really like to pray a lot mm. i like to i it's comforting to me to know that i can put my thoughts out there and know that someone is listening that's just for me maybe you know what i'm saying that's 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 what comforts me. I think a lot of people would go crazy if they didn't have that. I would go crazy if I didn't have that. Do you think morality and religion are like synonymous? In in what sense? So like Explain. you need religion to have a sense of morality? 
Mm -mm. All right, cool. No. I think some people do feel that way, but for me, no. I think you can be moral. You, I mean, you're clearly a moral person. You don't believe in religion. Yeah, I think it's completely separate. Facts. All right, what do we got next? That was a good one. We went from lima beans to fucking yeah. this entire deep talk on religion. What the fuck? Would you rather pull all your toenails out or pull all your hair out? <laughs> the toenail is yes, pain. I'd rather They're do the toenails. Pain. You see the amount of hair yeah, well, on my head? Well, yeah. First of all, you need to pick the yeah. toenails. I'd pick the toenails, too, just because you can put a sock on and shoes. Fresh pair of Yeezys. Got a new pair yesterday, by the way. Fucking lit. You can't... I mean, you can put a hat on, but I'm going to be bald if I pull all my hair out, and I'm trying to grow that shit out, dog. Would you rather speak every language except the language of the country that you're currently living in? Or speak only the language of the country you're living in, but you know the meaning of every single word in that language? I mean, I would pick that one. Just be, How the fuck am I going to survive here without English? 90% of my fucking audience... Bro, you could survive anywhere else in the world. Yeah, but think about my career right now. Everyone that listens to me comes here for English, and all of a sudden I'm going to show up like, wee oui, wee, oui, what is up? I, I mean, I Mexican YouTube is I, looking pretty hot right now. I can't speak fucking French. <laughs> oh, sorry, if my only go-to for French was wee oui, wee, oui, what is up? <laughs> um, again. Let's fucking a croissant. Who wants a croissant? Dude, to speak every language in the world? I would stick with it. I feel like... It, I this, would become a linguist this, and speak every goddamn language. I could translate everything. This might be ignorant, you know, English speaker talking, but I would argue English is the most important language to know. <laughs> I think that's a pretty Why? fair assessment. I don't know. I just feel like everywhere you go, not everywhere you go. There's I don't know. There's more people in China. Facts. I mean, I'm not talking about like a population, how many people use it, but I think English is a really important language and it's such a fucked up language. Like grammar makes no sense. Also, Why do we spell knight like a knight on a horse? K N I G H T. Why is the K there? For what purpose is it there? It Why do silent letters exist? It's probably part of the uh, Latin roots. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your take? You, you would pick the, would do every the language. One. Yeah. You just tap on the screen. This ain't a touch screen sheet. Oh, no, yeah, it is. No, I'm kidding. It is not. I was, gonna say this, I was like, when did the MacBook from 2012 add a touch screen? Would you rather live it? Oh, my answer. Yeah. We already did the Yeah, answer. you basically would pick all the languages. But also, to your point, you would literally be a human dictionary because you know the meaning of every single word. Well, that's what I'm saying, too. That's that's your a world in America to, would be quite basically colorful. I would literally just become a super genius in, in English yeah. in America. It'd be great. You'd be a great English professor. But it also would be really cool where like if you go away, let's say you're in Aruba. Speak every you language. You talk to anyone. Except English. Except English. <laughs> yeah. Dude, right. Is that that's a, that's a really interesting one. Would you rather live in a castle or own a yacht? Yacht. Bro, what? Easy yacht. What the fuck am I going to do in a castle? Have a moat and a dragon? Yes. On a yacht, we could go out and fucking get drunk on Sail the seven seas. You we could get drunk in the castle. By yourself? In a no, yacht, I we throw, could pick up babes. I can throw a banquet at my castle. Imagine the Instagram DM. Yo, what's up? This is Philly on my castle parties tonight. Dress up. Bring your own dragon. Why not? B-Y-O-D. It's like that guy. Uh, <laughs> do you know Dan pa Pena? That sounds familiar, actually. He's a business mo mm -hmm. mogul, like, haha, I'm a millionaire. This is how you become a millionaire. <laughs> haha, I read books. Yeah, yeah. Buy my plan. One of those fucking guys. Okay. Um, he lives in the castle in Scotland. <laughs> One of those fucking guys. They're all the fucking same, dude. <laughs> when are we going to make our plan? We should start selling a thing to the Sunday sauce yeah. people. For the small price of $3,000, me it. and Phil will teach you how to live life. Yep. Hey, let me say something right now. You live life through experience. Get out there. Put your mark on the world. What do we got next, Phil? This these are this is a whack. Have, have the voice of the opposite sex, or have the muscle mass and body build of the opposite sex. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I could I could talk like this. Same. I could talk like this all day. I'm trying to stay jacked over here. Yeah. There are a lot of women though that are gigantically jacked. So perhaps it, de it depends on whose jackness am I taking. Like who? I'm trying to think of. Uh, I don't really know off the top of my head of any like girl bodybuilders, but. But, I mean, I'm taking their build anyway. And I'm not actually taking the steroids. <laughs> I'm with it. You're also on steroids, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm, uh, it's for medication, my guy. I need to breathe. All right, what do we, wait, what, what, what would you pick for that? You're going to talk like the, like the girl too, right? Absolutely. Sounds good, man. I already look like it's a the girl. worst girl no, voice ever. <laughs> yeah, you really do not at all, for the record. You're freaking... Except from behind. <laughs> this fucking guy. Like, if I had people my, say that to If me. I had my goofy... There's like, no you way. You look like a really hot girl from behind. I've gotten that probably 10 times. In the Next last time we go, yeah, are we going out tonight? Can we figure this out right now? Uh, listen, I have obligations. I understand you're a dad. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to get into it. I was going to say go home, pet your dog for a little bit, come back, but we know well, you're not doing we'll that. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we'll see what happens. We haven't gone out since Thanksgiving. Either. I know. It's been a while. I have, I have fun. Last night, Phil, he said he was going to meet me out, and then he wasn't. So 
I understand. Rather live until you're 80 but be morbidly obese or live until you're 50 but have supermodel looks. 80 and obese. I'm going to go 50. I'm technically obese right now. So like, I'm looks. good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I've been obese for years because I'm 5'4", but I always had a muscular frame. Mm. So like, I mean, unless they're talking, you can't move. your like oh, Morbidly they, obese. That's what they said, right? So you, Morbid. Obese is mm, one third yeah. above your BMI, I'm pretty sure. Morbid. I can't even say the word. Morbidly. 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 Come on. Morbidly. You, you pick the language one. Yeah, I clearly it. fucking need it. Yeah. More, b- more. One more time, Phil. Morbidly. Morbidly. Yeah, there you go. Fucking bad. There's a couple words in the English language I just literally can't say. Oh, this is a funny one. <laughs> okay, bring it. Wear a ski suit all the time or go everywhere barefoot. <laughs> I'm going barefoot. <laughs> I'm picturing me walking into the bar with a ski suit. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? I used to watch on Discovery Channel. I'm picking the ski suit, by the way, just because I love shoes too much. Okay. Because my my whole swagger is in my shoe game. Yeah, I'm going barefoot. I don't need shoes. That's cool. You can hang out with Barefoot Jesus when you guys hang out. I used to watch this show on uh, Discovery Channel. It wasn't Man vs. Wild. I forget the name of it. But it was like this, like, hardcore military guy versus, like, this, like, super, like, nature you know earthy dude mm. and the earthy dude would not wear shoes ever and they'd go on these like crazy, crazy trips they were both jacked out of their minds i gotta find the name of the show but there's so many things I, maybe just me i don't watch a lot of shit like i watch a lot of youtube but i need to get back into watching like this is back when discovery channel was not like you know car shows mm. and it was actually like fun <laughs> nature shit welcome to the fucking so dumb kentucky derby discovery Literally channel ass. kentucky derby is is race cars right Kentucky Derby is horses, Vinny. Is it horses? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm learning so much today, guys. 2020, new year, new me. Is it really horses? Yes. Are we looking up Kentucky Derby? Yeah, it's horses. Hey, I used <laughs> to be a horse. You know, I'm actually a, the perfect size for a jockey. I mean, height-wise. Yeah. That's Cling like, to that fucking horse. I'll fucking hug <laughs> the horse. Come <laughs> on, oh, boy! Let's go! I, I think I'm allergic to horses. Is that po- what, their, their hair? Like it's either, their, it's their either horses or like the hay. Either one, I can't be at a That's point. what I was going to mention earlier when I went to the doctor and then we went down that whole me taking steroids conversation. I asked him, I was like, do you have my file from when I was younger? Am I allergic to cats? Because I wanted to get a cat. We've been talking about this forever. If you get a cat, I, we have to get a new studio. I know you don't like cats. No, I'm not. It's not that I don't like cats. But you don't like cats. I'm allergic to cats. Listen, he's going to stay over there and he's going to go. Nope. Anyway, I'm allergic to cats too. Okay, so. good. But like it's, ve- he said, <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie. That was a demon from demon <laughs> myself. I guess I apologize. Anyway, he said. I should have turned away. I'm such a prick. I went directly for it. Blow it in my mouth. He said, <laughs> he said I could grow out of it. It's been a very long time. It was taken in like 2006, but it, was, it wasn't it was like a serious one. I can hang out with people's cats and fucking meow with the best of them. Would you w- rather win a one day shopping spree to any store or win a two week vacation to any destination? Store and I would, go to, I would go to Flight Club Me and too. get every shoe. I would get every shoe and then resell them all. And, oh, and, and then you then, can go wherever you want. Yep. Yo, you know what? I gotta start thinking creative like you. Like with the Jesus question that you had with this one, you're 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 on top I'm, of your game. I, I'm wicked smart. I don't wicked know what to tell smart. Pak the Harvard Yard. <laughs> Call me when you get there. Have you seen Departed? I mean, no, uh, but good, I've seen good the Good I've seen Google Hunt. It's not your fault. It's boy, not it's your fault. Smart. It's wicked smart. How about that, them apples? If you were stuck in the woods, would you rather have a tomahawk or have a knife? I'm sorry. First of all, I wouldn't be in the woods because fuck the woods. And what was the next one? Tomahawk <laughs> or a knife? Yeah. Tomahawk is a... It's like an axe. Probably the tomahawk, right? Have you ever read the book Hatchet? Mandatory reading in like third grade? I probably spark noted that shit. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Uh, he starts a fire with an axe. Now, can you basically do everything with an axe that you could do with a knife? Yep. So why would not just take the axe? I, I would take chop that. down a tree, make yourself a fort. I think I would go. I think I would go tomahawk. There's definitely gonna be one like survival man in the comments. Like, well, actually, yeah. with a knife, you can <laughs> whittle wood down and create a survival raft. And yo, I know that they call them the tomahawk steaks because you grip the side of the bone. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. It's now. shaped like a tomahawk. Tomahawk steaks are fucking fire, by the way. All right, I'm loving this. I now we got some the the, the AI has got some momentum yeah. now. Keep it up, AI. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Attempt to survive a computer uprising like the Terminator. Oh, shit. Like AI taking over. Mm. Or attempt to survive a zombie apocalypse like Dawn of the are Dead. They, are, is it definitely going to happen, whichever one we yeah. choose that we're surviving? Yep. So basically, what would you rather? Okay. I would rather survive. I'd rather do zombies. I feel like I'd rather survive the AI. I just feel like the AI could be so much more devastating. I don't, dude. If AI gets the nuclear codes to like, it could just blow the world up. Yeah, so you know you'd rather fight zombies than AI. I would, yeah, I would rather okay. be in the zombie world. Me too. Actually, also just scary. But yeah, I'd fucking get myself an AK. <laughs> and fucking light those bitches up. So you dude. run out of ammo. But what if we had unlimited ammo? 
I, okay. They on say double XP weekend. They, they <laughs> specify that's a fact. You get the Mountain Dew <laughs> cheat codes. <laughs> Hell yeah, Zero Gravity, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater 4. Now, Dawn of the Dead Zombies, if I remember, cool, they were like... Zombies are just fucked, though, because you can't kill them. No, there's... Yeah, you can. Blow their head off. Chop their head off. Is that the key? Yeah. Okay. No, that's like the kind of the theme of the all protocol. zombie moves. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Just I've never seen head. really any. Oh. What happened? You should. Zombie movies are mad fun. Oh, you were reacting to me? I thought you saw something on there. You were like, oh, fuck. I don't... Okay, so I apologize, because I don't... Because on each zombie movie, they have their own interpretation of zombies. Some of them, like in a okay. World War Z, mm. are methed out and run like a million miles an hour. And it's like near impossible. I've seen I Am Legend. Those are pretty much zombies, right? Yeah. That movie's fucked. Dude, with the dog. The dog scene. <laughs> I can't even fucking... I'm, I'm sorry for even bringing it up. If you've never seen I Am Legend, Bro, oh my god. You know what God. we should watch? Twenty eight. The opening to 28 weeks later is one of the scariest, best, well-done zombie movie intros i ever. think i studied that one at adelphi actually crazy i remember not watch I, I remember like putting my head down like looking for a little bit putting my head down <laughs> i fucking suck with horror i really do all right what do we got so it next? depends on the zombies but i would pick zombies anyway i just feel like with ai man like can you imagine if all of a sudden you woke up in the middle of the night your computer started playing music you try to turn it off it would play music that happens text would pop <laughs> up on the screen like you're gonna fucking die uh. missile comes through your window <laughs> They can control uh, everything, dude. Missiles and drones. Oh, those are fucking scary. Your camera technology. just starts fucking recording you in the, in the wee hours of the night. And then sending it to like, you Sending know, it to the hacker that's yeah. about to come murder you. No, just to the Tomahawk other steak. AI that spreads it like Ooh. wildfire. Jesus. Would you rather live in the time of ancient Romans and Greeks or live in the Dark Ages? AKA like Middle Ages, like nights. Definitely the, the first one. Why the Ancient fuck Greek would you? Romans, that'd be nuts. Why the fuck would you want to live in the dark ages? That's yeah, true. It was literally dark. There was only was there even candlelight back then? Yeah, feudal lords' castles and shit. But if I had my own pet dragon, <laughs> I keep going back to dragons today. I love dragons. And we are not answering that one. Oh yeah, and some of these we just can't even touch. I'll be honest with you. They just I I couldn't even see that one. Okay. But I trust trust back on the religion. Judgment. Live poor with Jesus Christ and then go to heaven, or live richly with Satan and then go to hell. I'm going heaven route. Yo, I see, this is what I don't understand about the devil. If you, like, do bad deeds, shouldn't the devil like you? Like, why is he going to torment you? Shouldn't you be, like, boys with the devil? That is such a cool point. Like, well, what? <laughs> well, it's not like he... It's Well, no, he's the one that's punishing you for... You're right, actually. Because it, it, he's the one that sends you there, correct? Yeah, the so, devil's like, pretty cool. He, I guess he's just like, yo, I, I, you did bad deeds, I'm doing bad it's, deeds, we're all down here uh, together. It's, it's not, not like we're it's hanging a, out, but... Exactly. But, okay, so do you think hell is just you get down there, fire and pits I of ash don't like everyone think hell thinks? Exists. I think, oh, that's true. You fuck. Well, <laughs> if you had to pick, yeah. do you think it's that scenario or do you think it's just because what I think it's it's your biggest nightmare in life is just a nonstop loop in hell? In other words, think of the, what's one thing in your life you don't have to even say it out loud, but one thing that you absolutely hate the most that you don't like doing, you never want to do it, it I'll always you makes right you now, cringe. The DMV. Okay. <laughs> You're just in the fucking DMV. <laughs> Go into the first lady. Okay, step back, please. Ma'am, calm down. Repeatedly. We're fucking in a that circle. Sounds like, that sounds like purgatory. Oof. Like some people's hell could be if you really like, if you really hate a field of roses. You're just fucking sitting there. Rose petals all over you. But the, yeah, but like I said, like that's kind of like the definition of purgatory. Which is just what? Like just confinement like, within. It's just like complete neutrality. Just like emptiness. Yeah. In between heaven and hell where you're just like, Durr, emptiness like, is terrifying you ever wake up and feel empty yeah. like I want to go to the gym I fucking I feel a little lost today <laughs> I'm gonna go lift some I can't find my shoes I can't. <laughs> where are my shoes god damn it there's a pit in my stomach mm, that's a bad feel dude anxiety is just the worst feeling ever it's like a that, weird thing that feeling of like you're you're thinking about something that what the <laughs> fuck was that? It's like Sounded like a got fucking... splish splash at his yeah, house. Yeah, fu- shotgun falls down here. <laughs> Someone definitely <laughs> just took a big steamy <laughs> planet up there. Hollywood. <laughs> Yo, we should go to a fuck. Do you like roller coasters? Yeah, we should go to a water park because I don't do roller coasters, but I'll okay. do some slides. I'll do both. All right, when do you want? When do you want to do this? If I die, I'm going to hell anyway. <laughs> if we, <laughs> it's pretty fucked. We're not, even be, we're not even gonna be able to hang out when we die because I'm gonna be on a cloud chilling have, have and you, you're gonna be fucking in purgatory. Have, no, I'm going to hell. Have you ever been to Six Flags? Yes, but I would hold everybody's shit. I went on El, El Toro. Fuck that. The wooden coaster that's like super high in the air. Yeah, so a <laughs> plank of wood breaks uh, and you come flying off it and break your neck. That's what I want to do. The worst part is the anticipation of going clunk, clunk, 
clunk, clunk, clunk, and then... <laughs> Dude, I literally... I on King the Cow, though. Come on, guys, we're going on fucking... The tallest ride in the park, man. Vinny, you coming? No, guys, don't worry. I'll, I'll hold your little stuffed monkey and your large cola and your fucking shoes. Funnel cake. <laughs> Funnel cake. And I'm just like sitting there with the other counselors just like. For context, though, Six Flags is an amusement park in New Jersey. Mm. And they have the world record for the biggest roller coaster in the world. Is it uh, King Dakar? King Dakar, right? Yeah, dude. Where it takes, it's 26 seconds long, I believe. And you just get launched out and you hit like 125 miles an hour. I'll be honest with you and you might think I'm crazy. If someone came to me right now with a check of like 500 million and said, go on King to Cod, I'd probably be like, please get the fuck out of my house. You know what's even scarier about I it? I can't do it, man. You know what's scarier about it? What? Sometimes the launch mechanism malfunctions and it'll shoot you up to the top and then it'll, you'll get stuck. Yeah. And then you'll go down backwards. <laughs> Phil, that's some shit that would happen though if we did it together. Yeah, like, we would. Oh, come on, buddy, let's go. All right, fuck, fuck it. We're just <laughs> dangling upside down. I want to fucking kill you. <laughs> That that is that is an oofy. I I just I don't like flying. I don't like anything. I don't like that feeling where you're lifting off your seat. Mm. Even when sometimes you're driving a little fast on the road and you go down a little dip and you're like, eh, oofy scooby. I don't like it. Not for me. They have that one ride, Superman, where your feet are dangling. Fuck. And it launches that. you it keeps you in by your chest. No. It's like a chest harness. Can't do it. That shit's nuts. Can't do it. I can't even fucking I wouldn't even go on like a scooter. <laughs> so if I get my Fuck boosted board shit. out of my car right now, you wouldn't go on it? I, I would do that. That'd be fun. I would need to like practice though. I okay. can't regularly skateboard. Fun fact though, the scooter thing was obviously a joke, but when I was a kid, I couldn't take pills till I was in the 10th grade. I couldn't ride a bike till I was right before ninth grade. I learned in the eighth grade. And when all my friends were like, yo man, we're going to go ride bikes. I had a scooter that it would go down like a regular scooter. And then instead of one it had, platform, yeah. it had two. So <laughs> my fat ass would run in the middle, then jump and glide. Yeah. Like guys, please. I can't keep up with you. And then when we would show up to the uh, to my friend's house and we were all chilling out. Everyone's bikes would be outside. Then you'd just see my double scooter. We called it Scooty. Hell yeah. Yeah, but um, if you guys can't ride a bike yet, it's totally cool. No, I didn't no, learn. It's not. It's cool. No, it's not. You need to learn how to ride a it's bike. It's fine. You don't need, you don't need to do Benjamin that. Benjamin Franklin's oh, greatest this inventions fucking guy of again. all time. The bicycle. He made the bicycle? Yep. He also made the light bulb, right? Or is that nope. Edison? That's, well, et yeah. Thomas Edison. What a guy. I don't, I don't understand. How do you make a light bulb? That man had a, over a thousand patents and a thousand failures, and then that shit clicked one day. I bet you I'd kick his ass, though. Probably. I'd fuck up that Dude, little motherfucker. are you kidding? Are you, how do you know he's little? I don't even know. I just assumed he was little because everyone was small back then, weren't they? Not always. Like, wasn't George Washington like four fucking five? <laughs> everyone was a hobbit back then. <laughs> they all looked like me, dude. Yeah. If you went back in time, they'd think you were a fucking Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> Kill the ogre! <laughs> they would think you're like the embodiment of witchcraft. Or or like a god. Like, yeah. Like facts. Xerxes. Have you mm. ever seen uh, 300? Uh, I... I have not seen it. Okay, well, Xerxes was basically... But like, family... If I didn't want to go down another rabbit hole, but family guy, he named his fucking Falcon Xerxes. <laughs> That's why it's, it's a sick name. First thing that popped into my head. I, yo, that would be a good uh, name, an alternative name for Griffin. If you ever decide to change it, Xerxes? Well, my mom's thinking about getting a new dog, too. Oh, shit, yeah? Yo, this is Xerxes. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, dude. He's the guy that gets kicked into the pit, or he kicks people into the pit, right? Uh, nope, that's Leonidas. Leonidas! Are you not entertained? <laughs> Leader of Sparta. Leader of Sparta! I'd be a good Spartan fighter. No, you would be. No, no you'd be the fucking hunchback in the mountains that like watches them. And they're like, hey, let me fight. Yeah. Let me fight. <laughs> no, I'll be the guy in the back making the floor plan for the battle. Just letting everybody know. All right, we're going to go in here. We're going to do this. It's going to be fucking lit, dude. Yep. yep, yep, yep. You want to do a couple more before we ramp it up? Oh, yeah. So this is, by the way, our longest episode ever. High five to at? that. Hour and eight minutes. Oh, jeez. And we're Hell fucking yeah. and we're moving. We'll do like three or four more. Okay. We can wrap it up. If you were starving, would you rather eat a plate full of poop? Or eat a human foot. I'm eating that foot, dude. I eat the foot. There was a guy on Reddit that actually did that. He ate his, he ate his own foot or someone else's his foot? His own foot. I gotta tell you, is it weird that I don't think shit is like that gross? I mean, it's gross. It's I'm pretty, not gonna eat shit. It's pretty fucking gross. I'm not gonna eat shit like It's literal recreational fecal matter. Man. Yeah, it's nasty. But like, what kind of foot are we talking about? Is this a your nice foot? Your own foot. Oh, it's your own foot. Hey, a human foot. Human foot. Because, like, if the foot just walked through shit, then you got to eat the shit and the foot. So, basically, this guy on Reddit, right, he got into a motorcycle accident. Oof. And his leg had to be amputated or his foot had to be amputated. So, when he got it amputated, he asked if he could keep it. Now, you could look this story up. And he made foot tacos. And he ate his own foot. <laughs> foot <laughs> tacos, bruh? Yeah. Were they soft tacos or hard tacos? Uh, soft. 
Nice, Ooh. nice flour tortilla. Oh, by God. the way, corn tortillas are vastly superior. I don't even know the difference, so I'm gonna agree with you. Go corn tortillas. Corn tortillas are like the uh, street tacos. If you ever had them, mm. uh, they're like uh, it's more chewy, a little yellow in color. I thought I was about to like get enlightened, but they're just chewier. Chewier, slightly yellow mm. instead of like the white. And, I just uh, I love Taco Bell. I don't care. I, every time I say Taco Bell, it's like my hate, favorite dude, taco, taco spot. Gross. Everyone's like, Taco Bell, man. You know real tacos. All right, well, what, I like the fake ones then. Fuck. Oh, here's a cool one. Let's Would you rather be Bane wearing a mask that hides most of your face for life or be Joker showing your face but with crazy scars oh, and face shit. paint? Oh, shit. Dude. They're both awful. They're both badass, too. Oh, is it badass, though? Imagine walking into the nest with a Bane mask. Like, Hello. Would you like a shot? <laughs> it depends. Do I have those? Do I have those Bane juicy traps? Those olive oh, oil traps? Those are fucking. Those are clean. His trench coat with the traps sick. and the mask. It's a sick combo. That is sick. The Joker. I, oh, man, you couldn't. You couldn't. Either of these options, you really couldn't like go out and socialize because everyone would think you're crazy. Nobody would fuck with you if you look like the Joker. Like nobody, Heath Ledger. Nobody. That's terrifying. <laughs> Can you imagine me like. Oh. <laughs> Give me a shot. <laughs> fucking licking your lips, blood getting all over the fucking. I love all of my examples immediately are going to the bar. What yeah. the fuck is wrong with me? I was drunk, by the way, yesterday. I went out in the city with some friends. I was drunk at 11.35 in the morning. Maybe latest noon. Hammered. <laughs> fucking living it up in the city. We went to flight club, got some new shoes. It was a great time. I think I'd rather be. Bane. I feel like Bane. Yeah. Bane's more of your vibe. Like a, just a big brawling bowser i'd also would rather I be was bowser. born in the dark i would <laughs> morphed by it molded by I it. i can't think of his fucking it's like oh you think the darkness is your ally yeah. some shit like that yeah. yep. so good movie's great movie is great right, let's do one more and then we'll send everybody home fucking love you guys absolutely absolutely better be a good one. Oh, <laughs> is that a skippy or are we good <laughs> <laughs> can i look at it first <laughs> I just know your answer already. Yeah, we get uh, we get a little skippy dippy. Get a little skippy dippy. I just know your answer. <laughs> Sunday thoughts behind the scenes. Uh, All right, what do we got? What? There's not a good. There's not going for the grand enchilada, the grand finale, ladies and gentlemen. Would you rather always watch Nicolas Cage movies or always watch Owen Wilson movies? Wow, wow. <laughs> Owen Wilson all day, every day. I'm going Nick Cage. I'm pretty sure. Wow. I know. I'm going to tell you someone that I know that is actually, I think, related to Nick Cage. I'm not going <laughs> to say her name here, but they're actually like. Samantha Cage. They're actually like cousins or some shit. I'm yeah. pretty sure. They get her on the podcast. I'm going to run it. No, you know her. I'm not, I don't want to say her name now, but I'll tell you later. Stop uh, it. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Apparently, they're like eighth cousins or some oh. shit. Want to do one more? It's so fucked. Yeah. I had a fun time in this podcast, man. What do we got? What do we got? All right. <laughs> Would you rather drink and drive or smoke and fly? <laughs> Yo, I'm soaring in the sky, baby. I'm not doing either of these because I'm a good individual that doesn't leave the house and just sleeps in and takes out the trash. Object. Okay, obviously we wouldn't do either of yeah, these. Yeah, no, awful. But if we're talking objectively speaking, your odds of drinking and driving and getting into an accident versus in the sky. Yeah, but bro, if you're high in the sky and you actually push the wrong button, high in the sky, baby. <laughs> Hashtag bars. Yeah, yeah, let's make it abundantly clear. Don't do either of these, like Phil said, but. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one. A, I'm not answering this because they're both awful things. And you sure, it's just a it. it's just a would you rather, dude. I would just. Are you gonna think about this segment now for ten years? No, I'm good. I'm okay. good. I told you no anxiety in 2020, good. guys. You don't even understand how the the degree of difficulty <laughs> that I face every day with I, how I overthink everything. I just I hate the fact that in 2020 some clip could be taken out of context where like Phil's joke around. He's like, I want to fly in the sky and be high as a kite with my plane because there's no other planes. And that doesn't bother me. Then someone's all. like. He's gonna fly high! <laughs> what the fuck? Cancel his ass! It's like, fuck, man. You yeah. have to, like, walk on eggshells with every fucking thing you say, man. Just fucking sprint on those eggshells, baby. Yeah, Phil's just like, I'm gonna lick that eggshell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that eggshell. I'm gonna swallow that shit. All right, do we got one more? <laughs> yeah, one more. We're gonna do one more for 15 minutes. Hurry before the camera dies. What do we got? Would you rather... The rest of your life, would you rather marry a new random person every year or marry one random person and stick with it? You got to read that again because I heard marry wow. and I just shut down. I was like, I need a wife. Let me hear it. Would you, for the rest of your life, would you rather marry a new random person every year or marry one random person and stick with it? Fuck. You, this can, 
this the scale can go from like Mare Bear to like a hobo. Exactly. On the street. Like, By the way, we thought we saw Mare Bear. The other day. I know that girl. I found. Oh, you know that yeah. girl that I thought was Mare Bear. Yeah. Well, I said she looked like Mare Bear. She just works at the gym. Uh, f- By the way, before I even get into this, because actually, let's say this first. I'll say, uh, I heard my dad talk, and then my brain was like, <laughs> shut down. The random girl option could be your soulmate, so like that could be a thing, and it you'll stay be. with them. The other one's tough because it's. You're, what if you really like someone, then the next year you have to divorce them and remarry? Like that's kind of oofy. I'm going to marry a new person every year. I'm gonna go with the random and hope fate comes to. <laughs> honestly, quick side note before we end this podcast: Do you think there's only one soulmate out there, or like there's just qualities that could equate to a soulmate? I think. I think ideally, there's more than one. That's weird and to think about. It is so weird. You're right because think about it this way: If you do meet your soulmate, Griffin. Griffin, yes, your dog. <laughs> well, if you're if they're your soulmate, you'll stay with them. I was gonna say, imagine you meet your soulmate, things don't work out. Are you assuming that you're never gonna find that type of love again? I don't know. That's an interesting talk. Fuck love. I say, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I love love. Phil says fuck love. Welcome to Sunday Sauce. How we do things. Last thing, Mare Bear has a boyfriend. I think. Hey Vin. <sighs> yeah. <coughs> how about a man friend? Phil, I don't want to be someone's man friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mayor Bear, uh, you're great. I I guess we could be friends. That'd be cool. I mean, I'll show you how a real man treats you. I, did, I had other I had other plans for us, but whatever. You know, you could. I hope you and your boy boyfriend. Hope you guys are soulmates and all that fucking shit. It's a weird term, boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. Boyfriend is a weird term, and girlfriend because like I have girlfriends, but I don't have a fucking girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sunday Sauce. This is a fucking, this is a long one. It's a banger. It's a slapper. This is a banger. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Follow me and uh, Phil on our own channels, by the way, too. We never really say that. So subscribe and all that fun shit. And uh, (laughs) that's all I got. (laughs) Say hello to your grandmother for me. Peace out, fam. See you next time.